I have one. I'm close this makeup and I'm gonna do a blue and green makeup tutorial before I get started. I did my brows tipped in moisturizer and my left eye off camera. All the makeup products that I'll be using will be all drugstore affordable. So please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on social media. Links will be in the description below. And that's it. Let's get started. This is a retake of a blue and green makeup look. Something similar that I did back in 2020. I used to film in my bathroom. Now I just film in my room. And now I just use makeup brushes, blue and green together. It is so pretty. It is cool toned sometimes if you pick a bright green that has a cool undertone. Lime green has a warm undertone. It's a mix of yellow and green. Bright green is cool tones. It pairs perfectly together. Did you know that blue and green make teal? On to the makeup for a proper I tart K1 no gel nightly first try before I can do my left eye. The palette that I'm using is Beauty Glaze Color Studio Palette. I'm taking the blues and greens today. The brushes I'm using are two from Best Soap, a crease brush, a lower lash line brush to keep everything simple. For the crease, I'm taking a bright blue matte. The brush I'm using is the Best Taupe Fluffy Crease Brush. I don't know the name of it. The paper is in my room. I'm going to do one more layer for the sake of this video. I am the queen of colorful eyeshadow. So, I love colorful eyeshadow. If you're watching me for the first time or you're seeing my face for the first time, my name is Cool as Ice. I'm named after the 1991 Vanilla Ice movie. And I've been doing makeup videos for four years now. I used to be an animator, but I stopped to focus on makeup videos on YouTube. Once I've done pigment, I'm going to blend it. The car is being out when I open my eyes. Blend, blend, blend. Okay, that looks good. For the lower lash line, I'm taking a bright green with a cool undertone this time. The brush I'm using is the Best to small eyebrow brush to get in there for precision. Bright green, well, has to have a cool undertone. Like, for example, like Crayola's, like green marker. That's what I can think of. A leaf that's bright green. Okay, I'm going to blend it by taking the hand back. That looks good. I love cool tones very much. I don't know if it's making my blue eyes bluer. Who knows? But it's a pretty combination for any time of the year. For waterline, I'm taking NYX Epic Wear Water Stick and All Time Olive. This is an olive green eyeliner. I don't know if olive green is cool or warm, but it's pretty, especially on redheads, and it gives definition without being black. And I also have an olive green eyeliner, but it's from Rimmel, and it's sort of like a limeish green. It has a yellow undertone. For the lid, I'm taking the bright blue shimmer, I'm just using my ring finger to get the most pigmentation. For the mattes, use a brush, and for the shimmers, use your fingers. Making sure that it spreads evenly. It looks good so far. For the inner corner, I'm taking a Viva Color Sophie Face Highlighter. It ha well, it's a white shimmery highlighter with some green reflex. I get my mascara to this side, and I can be right back. Okay, I'm back. Mascara is on. Eyes are complete. The highlight the rest of my face. I'm taking Viva Color Selfie Face Highlighter. 
in Magnificio. It has some green reflex. I'm going to start on my nose normal places that I highlight, and I'm going to ignore the pimples that are on my face. I tried to cover it up with the moisturizer, but I don't know the cause of pimples, I guess. As you turn my head to the light, you can really see that sheen. I can really see that green reflex, and I haven't used this highlighter in months, so it's pretty. For lip prep, I took Taste Beauty Pop Tarts Blueberry Lip Balm. I don't know if it has a little bit of a blue tint to it. I'm gonna roll it with some toilet paper so my lips are nice and hydrated. Chalk lips are not cute. For pink lip gloss, I'm taking Hard Candy Gloss Topia in Opal Tease. No lip liner. This is like a pink gloss with a little bit of shimmer. The main reason I chose this gloss is because the eyes are bright. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's a little bit of shimmer in this hard candy gloss pink with a little bit of shimmer. Here is the completed blue and green makeup troll. I had a lot of fun doing it. If you have any requests, you can put them in the comments below. I'm the queen of colorful eyeshadow. I love colorful eyeshadow. So stay tuned for more views and eye looks. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.